I now give the floor to the distinguished representative of Canada. Monsieur le Président, la Fédération de Russie. Mr. President, the Russian Federation, permanent member of the Security Council, has waged an illegal war against the territorial integrity and the political independence of another member state of the United Nations, Ukraine. The outcome of today's vote clearly shows that the conduct of Russia is incompatible with its status as member of the Human Rights Council, a member state which has waged illegal war against a sovereign nation and has committed widespread violations and systematic ones of humanitarian law. Clearly, the procedure of suspension is uh, for the, such a case. Uh, we must defend the fundamental principles of the UN Charter, respect for fundamental human rights, the dignity and the value of the human person, justice and international law. Russia committed to uphold the highest standards of human rights. Russia's unprovoked and premeditated war against its neighbor and our friend, Ukraine, clearly demonstrate its contempt for these commitments. The situation in Ukraine has laid bare the, Russia's, the Russian military's most vicious disregard for human life as it launched hundreds of missiles on residential areas, killing thousands of innocent civilians, bombed hospitals and maternity wards, and targeted civilian infrastructure that has deprived thousands of access to basic needs. None of these facts are in dispute. Russia has invaded Ukraine, which existed for many years under the rule of the Russian Empire, the Soviet Union. This terrible example of the empire striking back can only be seen as an example of modern-day colonialism. Yesterday's update on the human rights situation in Ukraine by the Human Rights Monitoring Mission in Ukraine recorded 3,776 civilian casualties, including 1,563 killed. Let me repeat, 1,563. These are not simply numbers. They are innocent lives that have been taken for no other reason than President Putin's desire for power. We all know that the full reckoning of these crimes is yet to happen. The war Russia is raging is having a deliberately disproportionate impact on the most vulnerable, the disabled, women, children, the sick, the poor, the elderly. There is no shortage of destruction and carnage the Russian army has exerted. We have now all seen the horrific images from the towns of Bukha and European of women subjugated to sexual violence of civilians targeted and killed. As both the UN Secretary General and High Commissioner for Human Rights have noted, these acts amount to possible war crimes, grave breaches of international humanitarian law, and serious violations of international human rights law. In an attempt to subjugate Ukraine by unleashing hideous violence on its people, Russia has made it impossible to remain indifferent. We cannot turn away from the horrors we have witnessed. How can we remain silent? As our dear colleague from Kenya said yesterday, if we are truly committed to never again, we must act early and decisively in the face of clear evidence. The international community has sent a strong message to Russia with this vote today. The Russian Federation cannot and will not continue to commit gross and systemic violations of human rights, violating the very foundation of this institution, and at the same time, remain a member of the Human Rights Council. Withdrawal does not negate suspension. The result of today's vote is clear. Evil must not prevail. To our colleagues that have supported us in this effort, I thank you. To the Ukrainian people, I say, your courage and bravery are not in vain. Ukraine will prevail. Justice will prevail. Thank you. Je vous remercie. I thank the distinguished representative of Canada.